So, we had uh, done uh, this uh, conveying right pneumatic conveying and now this pneumatic conveying uh, we will do a problem because uh, uh, a problem solution and this problem will be earlier we had said that may this uh, for uh, particularly um, compressible fluid things are complicated and uh, your uh, expressions are bigger. So, it may or may not be possible to do in one shot. So, there it may be required some trial and error or things like that. So, maybe this problem we will handle and there it may be required right. So, let us go to that I think this this is on uh, 23 yes. So, the problem says like this. A uh, granular material is to be conveyed pneumatically in a line of 15 centimeter diameter and 130 meter long at a rate of 2000 kg per hour. The discharge end of the line will be open to atmosphere. 25 meter above the feed point and it is intended to retain a uh, 12 is to 1 solid to air mass ratio. If under the operating condition the factor alpha you remember we had said that uh, this alpha we had taken as uh, 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 factor multiplied with the uh, all losses frictional losses everything and we said this uh, alpha uh, may be given or may not be given sometimes you may find out sometimes it may it have been given. So, in this typical problem alpha has to be found out. So, the factor alpha has a value of 6 O oh, this is given what pressure will be required at the feed point. Assume friction factor as 0 0.006 and temperature to be 20 degrees centigrade right. So, I repeat a granular material is to be conveyed pneumatically in a line of 15 centimeter diameter and 130 meter long at a rate of 2000 kg per hour. The discharge end of the line will be open to atmosphere 25 meter above the feet point and it is intended to retain a 12 is to 1 solid to air mass ratio. If under the operating condition the factor alpha as a value of 6 watt pressure will be required at the fit point assume friction factor as 0 0.006 and 20 degree centigrade as the temperature right. Now, let us look into the solution of this problem so, from the Grieven problem it is coming that the diameter of this is d is equals to 15 centimeter is equals to 0 0.015 meter right. Height of this is z or delta z whatever we call that is given 25 meter. So, height is equals to 25 meter right and the rate of the 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 mass flow rate m dot is equals to 2000 kg per hour right and uh, this uh, solid to so air ratio solid to air ratio 
this is 12 is to 1. Then uh, friction factor is 0 0.006 and temperature is equals to 20 degrees centigrade that means 273 plus 20 is equals to 293 degrees centigrade. Right? So, if that be true m dot is given, so mass flow rate is given, we can write g right g as 2000 kg per hour right that can be written as 2000 divided by area that is kg per hour. So, we can write 3600 as kg per second into area pi by 4 d square d is point, uh, point 0 0.015 no, 15 centimeter. So, oh, 15 centimeters then it is 0 0.15 not 0 0.015. So, it is 0 0.15 meter that should be clear right 15 centimeter is 0 0.15 meter this is square right and this comes to equal to let us look into that calculator okay so 2000 divided by 3600 divided by pi by 4 pi by 4 pi by 4 okay is equal to this divided by 0.15 square is equals to 31.438 31.438 so, so much kg per meter square per second, right? This is the mass velocity. Hmm? So, that we said earlier that mass velocity rho v g is equals to rho v. So, that we got 31.438 this thing, right? Okay. Now, R T by M this is equals to R is 8314 into this is 293 molecular weight of air is not given. So, assume molecular weight of air to be 29. So, by 29 this comes to equal to eight three one four into 293 is equal to this divided by 29 is equals to 84000 point zero 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 point zero seven. So, so much joules per kg or meter square second square. So, is or this is joules per kg. This 
meter square second square joules per kg this conversion we had done in one of the earlier problems if you remember and we showed how this is convertible in terms of unit that we had done right we are not redoing here ok. Now, if this is true that 84000 of so much now some other are required g r t over m square is equals to this g is 31.438 or say 43 into r 8 r t by m. So, r t by m is 84000 let us ignore the other one right. So, this square divided by 2. So, this becomes equal to let us look into how much it becomes. So, it is 31.43 31.43 into 84000 0, 0, 0, 843 not this square that is square divided by 2. So, that comes equals to 348511680720. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is equals to 3.48 into 10 to the power 12 right. So, that is what 3.48 10 to the 12 so much joule square per meter square per second square. So, this will be meter to the power 4 right joule square because this G R T that was joule per kg right this is kg g is kg per meter square per second into r t by m that was joules per kg. So, this square this is equal to this kg kg goes out this joules remain. So, becomes joule square per meter to the power 4 second square right. So, that is what it is coming ok. Now, let us look into the third one that is what next. Next is we have been given the pressure right. We have been given the pressure one inlet pressure is given what outlet pressure we have to find out that is what exactly we have been given that uh, and length also in this case we total height was so much. So, if that would have been like this. So, total length was uh, 130 meter right and uh, um, pressure pressure was given um, oh alpha was given is equals to 6 and pressure uh, will be at agonometrial is to be conveyed pneumatically in a line at a rate of so much uh, the discharge end of the line will be open to atmosphere and uh, what we have to find out what pressure will be the required to the fit point ok. So, this discharge end is atmospheric pressure. So, it is one atmosphere and here the pressure P inlet how much has to be found out right. If that be true then let us then find out what is the value of 1 plus alpha 
1 plus s. Hmm. So, it was 1 plus s plus 4 alpha f l by d. What is the value of this? This is 1 plus s is given 12 is to 1. So, 12 plus 4 alpha is 6 l is uh, l is uh, uh, alpha uh, l is given as um, l by d ok. So, l is given as this uh, 4 into alpha into f f is given 0 0.006 right into L is given 130 meter by D is given 0.15 right. This we can write like this right 4 alpha F. So, this. So, this is, is equals to 1 plus 12 that is 13 already. So, let us look into how much what is that again we have taken out. So, 4 into 6, 4 into 6 into point zero zero six into 130 divided by point five one five right. So, much plus 12 plus 1 is equal to 137.8 right 137.8 right 137.8. So, this if we take the other value is 1 plus s into g into z 1 minus z 2 that was equals to 1 plus 12 is g is 9.81 right into 9.81 into z 2 minus z 1 that is given or oh, this is z 1 minus z 2. So, against the gravity. So, 25 meter it was given. So, into 25 right. This becomes equal to how much? 1 plus 12 is equal to this into third into 9.81 81 sorry so 9.81 into twenty five plus minus is equals to three one eight eight minus three one eight eight point two five right. So, that is what we got 1 plus s. Now, let p 1 by p 2 that is equals to 1 right. Then, we get left hand side the on the equations we had given earlier in the previous class is 0 plus 0 minus 3 1 8 8 point 2 5 right. So, if it is 1 then this becomes 0 0 into 0 plus 0 minus 3 1 point 3 1 8 8 0.25. So, this is less than 0 right. 
this is less than 0. So, let another p 1 over p 2. So, this to be 1.2 right. Then left hand side of the equation this becomes equals to how much uh, if we go back to I hope the equation we need to write somewhere right. So, we had the equation let us write here this is R t by m ln of p 1 over p 2 plus 1 plus s plus 4 alpha f l by d right into g r t square divided by 2 m square right this times 1 minus 1 by p 1 square minus 1 by p 2 square right this plus 1 plus s into g into z 1 minus z 2 this is equals to 0. So, this is the equation this was the equation which we have to do. So, R t by E m L n p 1 by p 2 plus 1 plus s 4 alpha f L by d into g R t square by 2 m square right into 1 by p 1 square minus 1 by p 2 square plus 1 plus s g z 1 minus z 2 that is equals to 0 right. So, in the first case we said left hand side is equals to p 1 by p 2 that is l n 1. So, 0 and this p 1 is equals to p 2. So, this goes up right. So, this was also 0 and we had the third term we had the third term this one and this we found out minus 3188.25. So, it was there. So, it is less than 0 right. Now, if L o, if we assume p 1 by p 2 is 1.2 then what we get we have R t by m is 8400. So, R t by m is 8400 ln of 1.2 plus 1 plus s plus 4 alpha f l by d. So, this we got uh, this we got here is minus 3 right uh, 1 plus s plus 4 alpha f l by d no no this is 137.8 right. So, 137.8 8 right into g r t by m square. So, by 2 g r t by e m square by this whole thing we got 3.48 3.48 into 10 to the power 12 right. So, this is 10 to the power 12 and this becomes 1 by p 1 square minus 1 by p 2 square. So, we have taken p 1 is equals to 1.2 p 2 right. So, 1 by p 1 square minus 1 by 1.2 square p 2 square right. So, if that be true then we get minus 3188.25 that was the last term right. So, if we take p 1 square out then then we can write 
left hand side is equals to 8400 ln of 1.2. So, 8400 ln of 1.2, 1.2 ln is this into 84123, 8400 0, 1 more 0, right. So, it was like that um, which came 84000 0, 0, 0 from here, right. So, this becomes equals to 15315, 15315 plus 137.8 into 3.48 10 to the 12, right. So, 3.48 into 10 to the power 12 is equals to this into into 137.8 oh, 137.8 right is equals to so much if we take this is equals to 4795441123456789 right into if we take 1 by p1 square common then it becomes 1 minus 1 by 0 0.2 square right minus 318.25, right. So, 1 minus 1 by 1.2 square is how much? Uh, 1.2 square square inverse of that is this plus minus this plus 1 is equal to 0.3. So, 0 0.30 into 0.3 into that 479544 into 10 to the power 9. right so much plus 15315 315 is equals to this right minus 3188 minus 3188 we have written right 3188 yes 3188.25 is equal to some value is equals to it has come 146527652733332134 right which is greater than 0, right. So, if this is like that, this means this has come like that and uh, our values are like that, which is greater than 0. Uh, oh, 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 if we take that, uh, this has become 1 minus 1 by 1.2 square mm, p 1 is uh, 1.2 p 2 right oh, oh. 
this was done P 1 is 1.2 P 2. So, that should have been P 1 is 1.2 P 2 right. So, we should have written here 1.2 square P 2 and this is P 2 and then this should come out and our 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 this value should have been this value should have been 1.2 square 1.2 square inverse of that minus 1. So, this is equals to minus 0.3 right. So, that means the whole term. So, irrespective of the values. So, this is a value of a and this becomes a value of say negative b minus a value of negative c a is less than b plus c. So, it is a negative sum value right which means it is also less than 0 right. So, we have taken two trials one is L p 1 by p 2 is 1 second is p 1 by p 2 is 1.2 and in both the cases we saw that the expression left hand side whatever we have that is less than 0. That means, we can have p 1 by p 2 higher than 1.2. Okay. We will do in the next class time is not there. Thank you.